Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, your boy, Samson Williams, soul brother number one, and uh, I just decided that it's time for me to speak on uh, the George Floyd situation and the um, shit that's going down in Minneapolis. You know, it's, uh, it's a long time coming, you know, it's a long time coming. This kind of stuff happens every day in the United States from coast to coast. You know, from border to border, coast to coast, from the north to the south, to the east to the west, cops are just, they're, they're committing acts, uh, cr criminal acts against people. And this is what has been going on. It's been going on for a hundred, a hundred years in the United States against black people. Uh, not just black people too, but against Hispanics, against white people. Poor white people get treated bad too. But, um, you know, cops are just overzealous. They're, they're, they think their shit don't stink and they can do whatever the fuck they want. And in most cases, they can. And that's what's fucked up is that. You know, these two, these, these cops, these whatever four cops. The guy that put his knee on George Floyd's neck, like, he should be behind bars. The other ones, you know, yeah, they should be behind bars too, but this guy should be, he should have been arrested on the scene, like, literally on the scene. They should have been like, whoa, you killed this man, you're under arrest. The moment the video came out, they should have arrested him. And, uh, but they didn't, because that's what they, they don't do that. They, they, you know, they uh, let the cops just do whatever they want. In fact, this cop, the same exact cop has been, uh, had multiple, I'm talking like in the teens complaints about him. Uh, he's done a lot of bad shit and he shouldn't even be a cop. He shouldn't even be a cop, but he was a cop and he was able to kill George Floyd, rest in peace, George. I've cried over this. I've cried over this, man. I know I don't know George, but I know it. But I feel for him. I feel for his family. And every single family that's been brutalized by police, police brutality in this country. You know, we black people, we get... We get the fucking, we get treated very badly. And once, you know what, people always say, oh, like I have some dumbass people on, on the internet, of course, you know, talking shit. Probably some stupid ass kids, so I don't even know why I give them any time. But it's like, oh, black people do crime. Everybody does crime. It's not just black people doing crime, it's white people doing crime. You know where I live? Where I live, it's mostly white people doing crime. Crazy crackhead white people. Uh, but you know what? Even if they are crazy crackhead white people, <laughs> they deserve justice the same as black people deserve justice. And these cops, they just they can just do whatever they want and get away with it. And that's what pisses me off. And this is why I'm glad of what's happening in Minneapolis. People are like, oh, you can't burn buildings. Why not? Why not burn those buildings down? Businesses, oh, you can't just, there's so many people that are losing money because of this. Who gives a fuck about money? George Floyd lost his life. Don't you guys get it? Don't you see that makes us even matter when you say, oh, they're, the economics of this is really terrible. Like I was watching the news and I was in the gym. I was pissed because the dude was, it was a brother too. And he was like, this is, and I understand. Okay. I understand being civil, but we have been civil since 1968 when, J when uh, Martin Luther King was murdered. Okay. People forget that. People forget that. People say, oh, Martin Luther King did so much. Martin Luther King was assassinated. He was murdered. Okay. And there has been black men murdered every single year since then. 
innocent black men, unarmed black men murdered every single month since then. So we burn a fucking police station. So we fucking loot a target. Who gives a fuck about some damn TVs when black people are dying? This is the problem. See, so many fucking people out there, they don't give a shit. They don't care. They see a black man get killed on video. Not a big deal. But they see a black man run out of a fucking target with a TV. Oh, that's terrible. Man, fuck these right-wing motherfuckers. Let me tell you something. I live in Arizona where it's fucking right-wing as fuck. And the people that work out in my gym, sometimes I just want to punch them in their fucking faces. I have to hold back. I have to fucking hold back because I want to punch so many of them in their fucking stupid fucking faces. <sighs> fucking pissed. So pissed. So sad. So angry. I understand why people are out there fucking... It's a revolution. It's not protesting. It's a revolution. So I'm with them. I just watched a video that they were protesting in Phoenix. I didn't know about it. I wish I would have known about it earlier. I would have went down there. It's, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. And it'll just keep on happening. And here's the thing. Here's why it'll keep on happening. Because cops are the right wingers. Right? No left winger wants to become a cop. Nobody with a decent heart wants to become a cop. People don't want to, you know, good people, real good people, <laughs> they don't want to become cops. You know who wants to become cops? Assholes. Assholes want to become cops. Fucking right-wing morons want to become cops. You know, they play their video games as kids. You know, I went to a high school which was predominantly all white kids. Let me tell you, I've had... Okay, I, I I grew up in the white part of town. Okay, there was, I went to a high school, right? My graduating class had 2,000 kids in it. Out of those 2,000 kids, three of them, maybe more, maybe it was like five, five of us. Five of us were black and the rest were all white. And there was, you know, Mexicans too. But all white. Oh, fucking white. And you hear what white people, how white, white people talk to each other in high school. This is in high school, okay? They drop the M-bomb left, right. It's not a big deal. It's all a joke to them. They don't care about it. Oh, it's not a big deal. I've even had white kids explain to me the difference between good black people and bad black people. And why certain people are why they call them the N-word and they call, and, and they don't call them the N-word. Let me just say, until we stop it at the young age, at the little, the jokester age where they think it's a joke, because it that joke turns into serious business when they get older, right? It's ridiculous. It's, it's craziness. So I say fucking let the city burn. Let it burn. Let some people lose some business. Yes. Sad. I'm sorry. I hope, you know, your business recovers. But these cops, man. And these politicians, they don't have the balls to stand up against the cops. I mean, Amy Klobuchar, she had the chance to charge the same cop that killed George Floyd. Guess what Amy Klobuchar did? She didn't she didn't charge him. She chose not to. She declined to charge the cop when he did some racist shit like five years ago. Amy Klobuchar, who's a Democrat, a Democrat who understands the blight of the black man. Give me a fucking break. And then you guys want to vote for Biden too. Guess what? Biden's a part of this madness. Biden 
made his little fucking law back in the fucking when you know the 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 crime bill the ninety was the ninety four crime bill that's Biden's bill. Policing has just gone down a hill ever since. Well, it's been down a hill the whole time. They're all a part of it, man. They're all a part of that bullshit. And Obama had his eight years to fucking do something about it. He didn't do nothing about it either. So we're going to have to start fighting. We have to start fighting back. And I'm glad that these protesters, they're not protesters, they're revolutionaries. I'm glad they're fighting back. I pray for all of them. I I pray that that all of them are safe. God bless them. God bless every single protester out there. God bless them. God bless them. And all on George Floyd's family, God bless you. God bless you, George. I mean, I pray that you're in in heaven watching the people rise up for you because you know what? You should still be here. You should still be breathing. You should still be alive. Um, just, just sad. Unnecessary. So unnecessary. But yeah. So anyway, that's my rant. I'm probably going to do a few more rants over the next few days. But peace, love to all my black brothers and sisters. And to all my other brothers and sisters, even if you're not black, you know, if you understand and you, you, you relate and you, even if you just make a little post, you don't have to be black. You could be white, you could be Asian, you could be Mexican. Just make a post. Just make a post on your Facebook. Make, make a post on your Instagram. Make a post on your your, uh, uh, whatever social platform you use. If you're a video gamer, make a, t- talk about it in your video game, with, uh, with your video game people, especially if you're white, you know, let, let your people know this ain't cool. This ain't cool. You know, stand up, stand up for, for humanity, stand up for black people, stand up for George and, uh, your boy, Samson Williams. See you on the next video.